This is my 14 year old son's four wheeler Jeep engine he's building. This is the air conditioning bracket. Also, you mount the fan clutch on there. And that bearing on there goes bad. This one's still good, but it had like 200,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna try to change out that bearing. There was one forum I was reading about how a guy changed the bearing out and he had some NSK bearing part number. Well, I punched that into Google. This is the part number I got. I ended up ordering this bearing through um, Quadratech. It's available through Summit and a few other companies. But it ended up costing me after shipping 18 or $19. I'm gonna swap that sucker out and go from there and see how it works. First thing I'm gonna do is pull the fan mounting hub off of the uh, shaft. I'm gonna use this little puller. That pitman arm would work on there as well, the pitman arm puller, if I pulled these studs off first. But I just wanna do it easy. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see what happens. All right, let's give it a shot. Got a thing stuffed in there so I can do it one-handed. And there she is. Alright, so you can see it's got a collar on the top there. And it's got to come out from the back. So I'm going to use a ball joint tool and try to stuff it on out. Oh yeah, that's coming right out. That's incredible. So here's the old one, and that's the new one. Looks pretty darn close. Not exactly the same, but $19 is a heck of a lot better than a couple hundred. Well, this would have been a lot easier with the press, but I don't have one and didn't feel like going over to a friend's house to use it. So I ended up taking the ball joint adapter, sitting it down there, putting a socket over the top of this. And just pounding it down until it was nice and flush in here and should work fine. So in the interest of getting it done and making it easy, I just pulled those studs out. came out with a piece of cake, a pair of ice grips. Let's zap this sucker in see what happens. Brand new bearing, old bracket, $19. This is the Quadratech receipt. There's the part number. 